you a professional drone pilot who is looking to tighten up your workflow, we might have a good answer. It is the Narbox 2.0 Drone Edition. We've been testing it out. We're gonna tell you more. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, David here from Aerial Influence, coming to you from our little makeshift Aerial Influence studio. I have a little halo around me, kind of, which makes a lot of sense. Today, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about this little device. It's the Narbox 2.0. Now, it's not just any Narbox 2.0. This is the Narbox 2.0 Drone Edition. It's the Drone Edition, everyone. Uh, Narbox did send us this unit to test it out. So one, you're probably asking yourself, what is a Narbox? So a Narbox originally was supposed to be just for like backup. So you can take your little SD card. I'll use one right here, if you can see there. It's got some ports in there. So you take your little SD card when you are out in the field and you're shooting, and what you can do is automatically back it up directly to this Narbox. So you see there, there's the SD card slot. You pop it in here, close that up. It is one button, you hit right here, say backup now. So now it's working to back up. What was on that SD card? Pretty great, right? Pretty interesting. Uh, just gives you a backup for all of your files. So along with that SD card slot, you are also getting a little micro HDMI port right there. So if you wanted to, after you put everything on here, if you wanted to hook it up to a television screen, you could do that, look at all your files. Um, you also have a USB-C here on this end and you also have a USB-C on the other end. The Narbox pairs up with an Android or iOS app uh, where you can go in and you can change file names, you can make folders to keep everything organized. It really is a handy little app uh, where you can actually even watch the videos and look at the photos just to make sure that everything did actually transfer. So lots of different ways you can connect from this Narbox. You could hook it up to your computer if you wanted to, drag those files over. It's a one terabyte SSD, so it's gonna be relatively fast. And if you've got a good computer, you could probably edit directly from these files. Uh, it'll actually, when you're doing backup, you can actually do proxy files as well. You can take everything and it will convert them into proxy files, so pretty great. So you're probably asking yourself, how is this exactly gonna help me uh, minimize my workflow as a drone pilot? Well, here are some of the cool things about the Narbox. So if you're somebody that does a lot of mapping and like accident reconstruction, like a lot of our customers do, especially for police departments, you know you're taking a ton of pictures. So at the end of the night, after you've done your mapping, you've taken all of your pictures, you can eliminate the laptop altogether and just take this little box. This little thing can do the same thing. Why? Because it is now able to connect to the cloud, the Pix4D cloud specifically. So you can take something like this Netgear hotspot, which you can see right here, you can and connect it to the Narbox Wi-Fi, and then you can upload those pictures while you're out in the field. Now, it might take a while over 4G or 5G, but if you're out in the field, say you're driving a long way back, you can get the process started before you even get back to the police station or your office. You can connect it directly to your Wi-Fi, which is probably gonna be faster than a hotspot, and upload the rest of the pictures. You get back to your desk, you open up Pix4D Cloud, and all of the pictures are gonna be there for you, ready to construct your map. And it's not only for Pix4D, you can also go to Dropbox. So you can take your files and upload them directly to Dropbox the exact same way. So the amount of tech that is in this little device uh, uh, is really, really impressive, especially now because it can connect to the cloud, Pix4D, Dropbox. There are gonna be other services as well coming up in future updates. And by the way, this drone edition uh, of the Narbox 2.0 is gonna be available later this year, possibly early next year. Uh, we'll update you when that comes. And we're gonna do some more videos on this. I mean, this thing, look at this, it's rugged. Totally rugged, rubberized not gonna break, so that's a great thing. It's got a removable battery, which uh, means you can get several of them if you want to. See right there, eh, eh. battery removes, pop it back on, you're ready to rock. Uh, so this thing is really, really cool. Uh, not gonna be for consumers. So if you've got a Mavic Mini and you're looking for something, you're not gonna want this because this is more expensive than your Mavic Mini uh, but for professionals. You could be a videographer, uh, you could be someone doing mapping, You whatever you're doing, search and rescue, uh, you could use this Narbox to back everything up and now you can upload it to the cloud. So we love this technology, the little Narbox 2.0 drone edition. Again, this is for professionals. Uh, this thing is around $900 for the one terabyte version. So it's expensive, 
but you're getting a ton of technology packed into this little box. Thanks again to Narbox for sending this to us and letting us test it out and use it. Uh, they did provide this for us. They're not seeing this video before it's published. Uh, this is just our opinion of using it. We think it's a cool little device. We appreciate you stopping by. We always appreciate you stopping by. We're Aerial Influence. We talk about drones for professionals, whether that is search and rescue, agriculture, we have these giant spraying drones. So make sure you watch us if you're interested in that. Uh, engineering, you name it. Every industry is starting to use drones and that's what we talk about. So you should hit like and subscribe like everybody tells you to do on these videos, but I'm gonna say it anyway because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. All right, we appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.